For as much as we all love woodworking, it can really take its toll on the body. Breathing in dusty, contaminated shop air can lead to long-term respiratory illnesses. We work with razor-sharp bits and blades that can put our hands in danger. Even moving heavy lumber and sheet goods like this around the shop can lead to back problems. Hi folks, I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and I'd like to share some products and simple things you can do to improve the air quality in your shop, keep all ten fingers where they belong, and maybe even avoid the chiropractor. Now first off is air quality. You already know that woodworking machines like this router table produce a lot of dust, and your best first line of defense is to contain that dust right at the source by connecting your machines to a dedicated dust collector or shop vacuum. Building a dust collection system is actually pretty easy these days. Thanks to starter kits like this one here. It comes with enough blast gates, Y fittings, elbows, and hose clamps to hook up several woodworking machines to one dust collector. The only thing that's missing is the four inch hose or rigid pipe, depending on your preference. Blast gates like these enable you to shut off dust collection to the machines you're not using in order to increase the air pressure to your other connected machines. I think it's a good idea to install a blast gate on the branch lines to your machines as close as possible to the main line, like this one here. And that's particularly important if your dust collector draws under about 1,000 cubic feet per minute or if your main line is longer than 10 or 15 feet. And here's another tip. Keep these branch lines to your machines as short as possible. It's all about keeping the air moving with as much volume as your system can manage. Now, not all of us can keep our dust collection systems mounted in the same place all the time. And that's especially true if you work in a small garage shop and you need to move your machines around in order to park a car. Well, Rockler has some helpful products in their dust right lineup if you have to connect and disconnect your dust collection system regularly. These quick connect tool port adapters attach with hose clamps to either 4 inch or 2 and a half inch ports on your woodworking machines. And then this quick change handle mounts to your dust collector's main hose. Now just leave it in place and you can plug it into all the quick change fittings on your woodworking machines. It just friction fits in place so you can bring dust collection to wherever it's needed most. For most of us, a shop vacuum is at least part of a dust collection system, and it may even be your main way to create a cleaner work environment. But you've got to admit, it can be a hassle dragging the shop back around. Well, if you've ever wished you could just keep the vacuum in one place, Rockler has a solution. This hose reel holds up to 40 feet of vacuum hose, so you can work or clean up where you need to, and then wind it up when you're through. And the best thing is, the vacuum stays in one place out of your way. Now air quality is important, but so is keeping your hands safe. Here at the table saw, a quality crosscut sled like this will help you make more accurate crosscuts of course, but it offers some safety advantages too. When you're cutting really small work pieces, the sled's fence and base help you keep your fingers a safe distance away. The sled also makes it easier to feed larger work pieces of sheet material or heavier lumber through a cut that would exceed what your saw's miter gauge can handle. Ripping angled tapered cuts, like those on these thin table legs, is also a pretty common operation. But don't be tempted to make those cuts unless you have a good tapering jig to keep your fingers safe. Now this jig from Rockler stays automatically aligned with the saw blade because it has an aluminum bar on the back that rides in the saw's miter slot. And it's got a pair of sturdy hold down clamps plus a fence backing up the workpiece, so a leg blank can't shift during cutting and invite a kickback accident. And over here at the router table, this power tool safety switch is another good safety item to consider adding to your shop. With one of these, you don't have to reach all the way under here to turn your router on and off. And it's got a paddle style kill switch on it so you can shut your router off fast in the event of an emergency. Now material handling might not seem like much of a safety issue for woodworking, but lift a few sheets of 4x8 plywood, or worse, MDF, and your back might just disagree. They're heavy and bulky. So a cart like this 
that can help you unload sheet goods and move them around is awfully helpful, and your back will thank you in the long run. This material make cart from Rockler is made of steel tubing for strength, and it's got large locking casters on it for convenience. I like that the cart can be set to a range of heights to help you adjust it to your truck bed height. And once you've loaded a sheet onto it, the top can be swiveled to vertical. That makes the cart easier to maneuver through doorways or around other obstacles in the shop. And when you're not using it for material handling, this cart can even double as another work table or even an outfeed support device for a bandsaw or other machines. All you have to do is add a worktop to it. I hope these tips and products help you think more about improving the air quality, general safety, and the working conditions in your shop. Thanks for watching.